Peace, y'all. It's your man, DeRon Bond here. So I'm in the process of editing the Transformers film for my own personal preferences. Um, I came across a particular uh, clip that proposed a very interesting scenario, right? I'm going to go ahead and play the clip and just uh, actually show you the part that I want to edit out. Looks like there's a message embedded in the signal. Let me work my magic. All right, so that's the part I want to edit out, her peeking around the corner, right? So here's what the clip sounded like when I made the initial edit. Looks like there's a message embedded in the signal. Let me work my magic. Okay, so you heard where the word magic was cut off there. All right, you heard that. So what do you do in a case like that to prevent the word or a phrase from being cut off when it overlaps into another clip. All right, I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so the first thing I did was take the skimmer, that's this red line here, and place it at the exact start point of the clip I wanted to edit out. I hit Command B. All right, made the cut there. Then I took the skimmer and place it at the end point. I hit command B again. All right. Then I right clicked on the video clip and I selected detach audio. All right. Now the audio appears underneath the video clip. And you see that the audio is not there, but it's underneath here. All right. So I clicked on the audio clip, make sure it's highlighted, and I hit Command C to copy it. All right. Then I clicked on the video clip and I hit the delete key. Now you notice the video and the audio clip were both deleted. And you will also see here that the skimmer is at the exact deleted point. Right, so you don't have to move it or anything like that. It's right at the point where I'm now going to paste the audio by hitting Command V. Okay, so the next thing I did was hit the R key to select the range tool. I'm basically going to select a range that is the same length of... the pasted audio here all right so once I selected that range I hit command C to copy it all right hit the a key to select the select tool took the skimmer and placed it at the beginning point where the audio is right here Make sure it's at that particular point, and then I hit Command V to paste that selected range. All right. Then I silence the audio of that particular clip. All right. Then, as you can see, the audio pretty much was it moved to the actual endpoint of the pasted range right so basically you have to click and drag it back to that starting point there all right now what i went ahead and did and go ahead and play it and see what it looks like all right see that jump there Play it again. All right. So I noticed a, a noticeable jump there. Um, so basically it didn't. It wasn't as seamless as I expected it to be. So in a case like that. I went ahead and hit the R key again. Because now you got to get a little creative now. All right. So. What I'm going to do now is go further back into 
the clip and see if I can select the range here. Let's select the range that is going to be about half of the length of the audio clip. And that's about that's about right there. OK, so once the range is selected, I'm going to hit command C to copy it. I'm going to hit the A key again to select the select tool. And now I'm going to go to the end point of this particular clip. And I'm going to just drag it over to the left about halfway. Yeah, about half the length of the first half length of the audio clip here. All right. And I'm going to take the skimmer and put it right at that halfway mark right there All right and okay now I'm going to do command V to paste that selected range All right and then I'm going to silence the audio of that clip as well all right because if you don't silence the audio, it's basically going to be complete, you know, overlapping with this particular audio. And then you don't want that. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag this back just a tad bit to make sure it's at the. And again, you may have to zoom in just to be more precise, but I'm just kind of giving you a, just a general overview of what you what you need to do here. And uh, so just make sure that both of these clips this particular range here is the same length of this audio here. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this clip back and see if it flows better. All right. Play it one more time. And it seems to flow a whole lot better than it did before. Um, for visual purposes. So now I'm going to play the original clip followed by the newly edited clip. Looks like there's a message embedded in the signal. Let me work my magic. Looks like there's a message embedded in the signal. Let me work my magic. Yeah, so basically that's all you have to do is just take some creative techniques uh, to achieve the desired result. All right, so there you have it. It's like that. God bless.